There, there are a lot of rumors why I left the band. You know what I mean. Okay, you know, there are a lot of rumors. Well, let me set the record straight. I hung out with Maynard all the time. We, we usually had dinner together and, and hung out after shows and things, and, and we were very, very tight. And if it was one time, I probably said it 200, that Maynard, I love you so much that you're probably the only way I'm going to leave this band is when you fire me. And that's exactly what happened. I got fired in Boston, Massachusetts. We were at the Berkeley School of Music. Now, let everybody write this down because this is the real thing. And there's a guy here that can attest to that because he took me to the airport that night. Anyway, we, we pulled in. And uh, yeah, we, we uh, you know we went out. We got there for uh, it was a hit and run. The band was gonna we were gonna hit and run from Boston, from Berkeley to Albany, New York. And uh, when we, we got in uh, a little bit too early in the day, and uh, a bunch of us, well, almost all of us, went out and had a couple. Of, you know, we went out and drank some tea, <laughs> and uh, and uh, went back to the, to the bus, etc., etc. Well, I had a bed on the bus, so I was sleeping on the bus. And for some reason, for some reason, nobody woke me for the gig. True story. Nobody woke me for the gig and I missed the downbeat. Okay? Now, you don't get fired from anything for only one reason. Okay? Now, keep in mind, I was there nine and a half years and I was a hellraiser, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, Maynard used to call it sometimes, he called it misplaced loyalty because I was very loyal to him, always will be. But he called it misplaced loyalty. I don't know if you guys have ever heard that expression from him, if you were walking around him that much. And uh, I missed it down B. Uh, I got fired. He did not want me on the band bus that night going to Albany, New York. Took me to the airport. They flew me to Albany and the next day. I counted the t-shirts with Ed Sargent. I had lunch with Maynard unusual also. Had lunch with Maynard, we drank three bottles of wine, and I uh, went back to uh, Orlando. That's exactly what happened. Do I miss it? You have no idea. But it was time for me to go, because the band was going in a, in a different direction. I was really the old guy, right? And uh, uh, I, I felt that maybe some of the guys on the band weren't there for the right reasons. I was very, very uh, uh, open about my reasons of being there, and that was to be there for him. And and uh, and maybe I did that to a fault sometimes, but that's why I left the Maynard Ferguson band. Now it's on record.